Hello and welcome to the first episode of Geek Reviews. Uh, today I have something very special for you. I'm waving it around. That was actually not fake. I just literally just like dropped it. Um, and uh, can you see what that says? I know it's backwards, but I really don't care. That says Marvel. Uh, this is a Marvel wallet. You might just be see the colourful things there. I'm not gonna open it to you yet. <laughs> Pour it now. Um, and um, this is really quite cool. Um, it's really for the geeky nerdy person out there who who just wants a cool uh, who just wants a good way of storing their money. Like, hey, what's up? I'm a geeky nerdy person. On the thing, it said that it does actually have Marvel comics inside. That's made of plastic, unfortunately, but it looks like metal. Pretty cool. Um, uh, nice leather outside. Uh, on the inside, this is what I was hiding from you. These are all actual comics from old um, comic books. Very colourful, isn't it? I'm just going to move it along so you can point out all the different comics. It's Spider-Man's arm. I think it's on his crotch. Oh, that reminds me. I went to the zoo today. And I saw a monkey doing something very weird with his private parts. He was literally just stretching them out and just going, yeah, 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 yeah. Literally just stretched it out. It was horrible. I had to look away because I was there with my mum. And so I pushed her to the next thing because there were like two monkey things right next to each other. Uh, one of them was the rude monkeys and then the other one was the spider monkeys and they're cool. See that? Uh, cool inside. It's got loads of pockets for you to put your money in your cards. Uh, that's where you put your main money. Boo! Just open it all like that. Spend... Put money inside of me. I wish to eat money! And uh, it opens up like that. You got... Uh, you got good places uh, to put your um, your pennies, your little penny pennies, because let's face it, we only put our notes in there, and they're not pennies in these bits. But you could put your uh, well, not just pennies, you know, coins. You could put your um, cards, business card. Never noticed that, but actually inside the pockets, I'm just about to say they even have comics, but black and white comics, uh, which is quite cool. Shows that they're thinking of it. Is that there, comics inside them. Um, and it's just basically made of completely Marvel comics, uh, for, considering a long time ago, Fantastic Spider-Man, or, you know, um, costed, costed? Costed? It costed. It cost 12 pen, no, not pence, cents, 12 cents, which is, I think, like, if cents were pence, well, if we were in America, that would be, like, 2p. No, not 2p, 12p. But then, there's also, I've just discovered now by pushing it in, this is probably the best place to put your pounds and pence and all your pennies. Little pocket there, big pocket. No, it doesn't have it on the other side. This, these, this side is probably more for your cards and your, you know, um, this side is probably more for your, um, uh, this side is probably more for it. Yeah. Uh, it's got quite a lot of pockets. Exactly what a normal wallet would have, but with a bit more customization. Um, so, my conclusion. Uh, great thing if you're uh, a Marvel fan. Um, not so good for storing your money, though, because, as you can see, if you, if you drop it, it could just open like that, and then all your money could fall out, which would suck. Because, as you know, if you've seen Psychopath 43's, um, um, when he spills over that jar full of ammo, uh, it's it's not nice picking things up, is it? Psychopath forty three. And anyway, um, right, so my conclusion: it's good for the person who likes Marvel. Not good for storing money, though. It is kind of, you know, stylish. Um, I'm glad I have it. <laughs> I'm not giving it away. Uh, I do not know where we got it from. Uh, got it for Christmas. I didn't think to ask. Uh, um, where they got it from, and I was just like, yay, and I thought they were playing guitar then, but some people were just holding a gun, 
Uh, that was the end of the first episode of the Geek Reviews. Just about five minutes, which is pretty awesome. Pretty good. Um, keep on watching uh, Geek Reviews to see some awesome stuff. Which could be very geeky, and it could and it could be something that you want. And if it's something that we can find the website for, we'll put a link in the description, like on eBay or whatever. And you can just go, oh my gosh, I'm so getting that. Eh, 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 got it. Because I mean, if it's cool enough to admit for me in Psychopath 43 to have it, it's cool enough for you to have it. I think. If that makes sense. Huh?